Hi guys, how are you doing? So this is a pick a card reading and it is their real intentions. So we're going to have a good look at what they're intending and what's really going on. I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to anyone new. Hi to anyone returning. So glad that you're all here. Um, please like, subscribe and hit the bell if you want to be notified of future uploads. And um, if you want a private reading with me, please check the description box below. Um, if you want more time to choose the reading, please pause the video anytime now and make your decision. Go with whatever calls out to you. Um, it is intuitive. It is general. Um, I'm sticking with what I've been doing lately, which is four tarot cards and three oracle for clarity and extra help and information. So I hope you enjoyed today's reading. Be sure to let me know in the comments what you and felt and thought about the reading I read every comment and I really love to hear what you feel and think and what's uh, what's come out of the reading for you okay let's go ahead and have a look at what's going on for you okay group one their real intentions I'm going to leave the oracle cards for now let's have a look so we've got the high priestess the knight of wands the king of swords and the ten of swords Okay, so the most important thing here is the high priestess because this, the end of this message is kind of sensitive, let's say. It's sensitive. So, and what I mean by this is that it might not be what you want to hear. For one or two of you, this is kind of almost not a warning like an ego oh my gosh the end of the world's about to happen that's your ego if you feel like that about it um <laughs> you know you don't need to listen to that okay it you're not in a terrible situation whatever okay your mind may tell you that but you're not um it's you know it's all okay you're okay but the point is for a few of you this is a kind of flagging up it's a red flag saying hang on th there could be something going on here that you're you know that's not great and we'll get to that in a minute. But why? this is why I want to say the high priestess is so important. Because what this is all about is your intuition. Um, they're saying in order... Because this is a general reading, I cannot give you accurate information for your specific situation. But what I can say is that they are telling you, the guides are telling you to listen to your own intuition. Ask them and they will give you signs signals and information in fact a lot of you already know and you're just here looking for confirmation okay so either way whether you're here for confirmation or you are going to be asking for further information and clarity you are going to get it so listen to your intuition to get an accurate picture of what is going on at the minute for you individually that's what they want to tell you above anything else um, for the majority of you, I'm not going to lie, for the majority of you, it does look like this person is kind of at best not ready to commit. Let's put it that way. The Knight of Wands uh, does get a bit of a bad rap. He is kind of uh, seen as someone who kind of loves them and leaves them. The point here is that this doesn't necessarily have to be malicious or cruel or mean. It could just be someone. The knights are often energies of people, young men or young people who are still trying to find themselves. Now, your person might not be that young, but they may still have a young energy. They're still trying to find their way. Um, this person is feisty and bold. This person is often very sexy and attractive. Um, they may make a lot of promises that they don't keep or they may kind of almost like love bomb you and then, you know, disappear. And they could be someone who comes in and out of your life because they seem to kind of not really know what they want. They could be focused on their career. They could be focused on other projects or other things in their life. But this is someone who is like not fully mature yet and not fully commit, ready to commit yet is what it looks like. So their intentions for the, main, for the majority of you and for the most part, it's that this person, their real intentions may be that they feel great towards you. Maybe they do. Maybe they do feel really attracted to you. It's very likely but they're not, their intentions are not to hang around, okay? 
The King of Swords further adds to this because this is someone who is kind of slightly more logical and emotionally detached. And the Ten of Swords is an ending, a painful ending as well. So it does look like for the majority of you, their real intentions are not to hang around. Now, like I say, this could be a mispick. So for example, if you feel like this is not at all right for you, then it's very likely you just pick the wrong group and pick another group. It's fine. But for, for, the, for the most part, a lot of you have come here because you already know this about this person, that their real intentions are maybe not, that they're not ready for commitment at the minute. Now, I want to jump in and say, this doesn't mean this person is wrong for you. Maybe you don't want massive commitment at the minute. Maybe you don't want that. But what this is indicating is some sort of ending, whether it's temporary or long term, it's going to depend on your situation. Also, what it's saying is this person is probably focused on other things as well. They're not massively emotionally invested, although they may be very sexually attracted to you and that there could be a lot of heat between you guys. And this could develop into something else in the future but this person is still trying to find their way they could be very focused on business or their career and so because of that it's like there's this ending but it doesn't mean for all of you that it's like the end of the world or that this is an ending that will last forever let's look at clarity here the situation will improve yes and laugh at your demons right the yes means the intuition you've got to listen to your intuition Okay, they're saying that the yes is really to do with this. It's like a confirmation that what you know in your heart is right. The situation will improve, can mean many different things for, for each of you individually. The point is, let's take it as it is on the surface. The situation will improve. So for example, some of you are in a relationship, you know this person is going to keep coming in and out of your life. What they're saying is this will improve eventually. So you will either find somebody else or this will resolve, but it will improve. But you need to listen to your intuition. The yes could be an affirmation for you personally. And you may get your own message on this. And if you do, that is great. Leave a comment if you've got a message for that. Because I think with this yes or no in this deck, sometimes it can be a personalized confirmation. So if you want to share, feel free. Laugh at your demons really does indicate that you need to step back from the situation and see the bigger picture. Laugh at your demons means like don't take it too seriously. Don't let fear get a hold of you. The Ten of Swords, is no coincidence that this comes underneath the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is a painful ending, but it's also brilliant because the Ten of Swords means the worst is over. There's light of the new dawn on the horizon. It really is a card that is painful, but it's kind of already happened. So you don't need to worry about it anymore. Um, so, you know, you're kind of free of this situation. They're saying you need to look at the bigger picture. Things will improve. The situation will improve. You are moving more towards what you want. And this is part of your soul growth is what they're saying. All right. So I hope this makes sense. Loads of love number ones. I will see you on the next reading or a private reading. In the meantime, have a wonderful day. I will see you soon. Hi, group two. Okay, their real intentions. I'm going to leave these oracle cards here for now. We've got the sun, the queen of swords, the lovers and the page of cups. Their real intentions. So their intentions look really good. I mean, we've got the sun and the lovers. These are really positive energies. Page of cups, again, a positive energy. Queen of swords is definitely positive, particularly surrounded by these other cards. Um... The Queen of Swords could be you or could be uh, them. And it doesn't matter whether you're male or female. So don't worry about that. Um, the Queen of Swords is someone who is kind of no must, no fuss. This is someone who is determined, focused, could be an air sign. Um, someone who is very um, quick-witted, very intelligent, uh, a thinking person, a logical person, a determined person, a strong, feisty person, but in a very like logical, 
intellectual way rather than sort of hot-headed passionate they can be that as well but i'm just saying this it's more of a of an airy energy so it's more of an intellectual passion um so this is a description of the person so this could be you or it could be them but this is important that you hear this message for whatever reason so this is the description of the person their real intent okay so they're saying for one or two of you maybe this is a third person or somebody you know you're trying to uh work out a situation but this description of the person is important Okay, so their real intentions. Their real intentions are the sun. So this is new beginnings, new possibilities, love, light, joy, childlike kind of wonder and excitement for life, kind of play, fun, new beginnings, new opportunities. You know, it's all really um, positive and uh, joyful. So their intentions are really, really good. Um, but I do think how this resonates with you will largely be to do with who this Queen of Swords is. But yeah, their intentions are positive. I do think for the majority of you, this energy is directed towards you, but it doesn't necessarily need to be. Their intentions are either from the point of view of this Queen of Swords, either this is them and they are referring to you, or this is you. But in one or two of cases this person is someone else if i am describing their current partner or somebody else that you know is around them it could be that this feeling is for them so their real intentions are towards this queen of swords so whether this queen of swords is you or someone else determines what the meaning of this reading is for you in one or two cases this could also be them in which case, this is how they feel about you. I know that was slightly confusing, but I think you all have got what I'm talking about here. The problems of doing readings for multiple people. This is what happens sometimes. I apologise for any confusion. But largely, this is about how they feel about this Queen of Swords. You know, and they feel love, connection, a deep connection. Now, when I say love, it's more like, a soul connection or a divine love connection because actually the love they feel is like puppy love is like uh, a kind of initial excitement wonder intuitive kind of could be a bit of a surprise feeling came a bit out the blue it's kind of like the new exciting childlike it's definitely got a childlike feel doesn't necessarily mean immature though it can be a, like an innocent kind of archetypal energy it can just be the new beginnings it can just be early days but it is so it's got that like youthful childlike energy on the one hand but also it's got this kind of deep soul connection or a divine love feel so the real intentions are to kind of investigate and move towards this feeling to investigate this energy so that is their real intentions so we've got within the next sorry within the next few months and in the near future so this person does intend to take action let go and enjoy yeah this person intends to take action towards you or whoever is this queen of swords um within the next few weeks in the near future and to really kind of let go of their old situation and to like spring forwards into this new situation hope this makes sense loads of love guys i will see you in the next few days on the next reading or on a private reading in the meantime see you soon guys hi group three i'm gonna leave these oracles here we'll come back to them so their real intentions knight of coins ten of wands ten of coins two of wands Okay, I feel like their real intentions are actually to move towards you they or to take action towards you. Their real intentions are to make some sort of plan. You see, this is like the progress. The part way there, the Knight of Coins generally means, uh, is often seen as like a, in terms of action, it's a placeholder for kind of being part way there. Um, it's also an indicator that this person is genuine um the knights are often a bit flaky because they're still trying to find themselves you know they've got like a young energy they're not maybe the uh, completely ready for settling down or knowing their full 
selves, you know, they're not fully matured, but the Knight of Coins is the most mature and most stable of all of the Knights. So yes, this person may still be a bit wet behind the ears, still trying to find their way, but this person's genuine. So what they've probably, this is an indicator for the majority of you that what they've told you is genuine and they you know, they, they're not lying to you. Obviously, listen to intuition on that because one or two of you, you know, invariably in a reading where lots of people watch it, there will be one or two exceptions there. So just listen to intuition. But the Knight of Coins says this person's genuine. They really do want to offer something to you genuinely. They are a loyal, decent, down-to-earth person. The thing with this person is though that there's a lot of coin energy here so it could be really slow they've also got the ten of wands which is this sense of burden and kind of which burden generally weighs you down and makes you slower so their real intentions do look positive but it is a slow moving energy okay so their real intentions are to have this happy ever after situation or this is what they've got in their mind and they are moving towards making a plan but they've got a lot on 10 of wands says a lot of burdens a lot of responsibilities they've got a lot of things going on around them consequently even though they've got the idea of this completion of this cycle and moving forward and making a plan with you it's taking a long time but they do intend i feel for the majority of you their intentions are good they want to move towards you. They've got a lot that they need to kind of deal with at the moment. But they are hoping to move towards this like ideal situation with you. And in the near future, they hope to be able to kind of move beyond the inspiration stage and actually start making some plans to take action. So that's their intention. Let's look at the clarifiers. You're ready. Ask for help from others and reflect on your truth. Okay. So clarifiers, you're ready. So... This is interesting because this could indicate that actually some of this slow movement is procrastination and you maybe are in agreement on that. I feel I can hear a lot of you going, yes, yes, that is what it is, you know, because this person feels to be like partway there. Their intentions are good. And the, the Oracle cards are saying they are ready, um, but they're not they're not doing it. So this is a clarifier. So what some of them are procrastinating. They're going to need help from others. They may need help from you or friends. Um, this reflect on your truth means that you're not being fully honest with yourself. You're not being fully um, authentic or, you know, you're not really following your path honestly. And I don't mean they're being dishonest, but they're not really... <laughs> They're not really doing in their heart what they need to do. Uh, they Again, this really just is a case of procrastination or, you know, not really taking enough action. This could be just this very slow energy. Um, but yeah, what this is telling me is their real intentions are good. For the large, for the, in the most part, their intentions are good. They do want to make plans for the future with you. But they're going to need help with that because they're procrastinating. They're actually ready to move forwards, but they're not really being honest with themselves because instead of that, they're getting themselves caught up with all these other things. For And the reason for that could be, you know, many different things. But I don't really feel they're hiding anything from you. So you probably know why they're procrastinating. But it does look to me like their intentions are good, but they're procrastinating. <laughs> Loads of love, guys. I hope you have an amazing day. I will see you in the next reading or on a private reading in the meantime hope you have an amazing day and see you soon hi group four i'm gonna leave these oracle cards down here let's have a look at what is going on so what are their real intentions death judgment the chariot the world wow this is wow really powerful if you've chosen this group this person is trying to turn their world upside down this person is trying to change everything. This person is trying to transform. This person is quite likely having a massive awakening or breakthrough. The death card is about transformation. Their real intentions are to transform. They could have had a shock, a painful ending, a difficult breakup, a difficult situation. You could have presented to them as a massive wake-up call. Death into judgment. Judgment is a wake-up call. Um it's where intuition and inspiration and 
awareness and all of that good stuff all collide it's into this kind of revelation it's the truth really that hits you um it, it it's the penultimate card before the world so it's this kind of revelation and realization that moves you towards the world which is the best card in the deck which is enlightenment really at wherever you're at you know like awareness moving to the next level uh, success it depends on the situation of course but the point is their real intentions are to kind of wake up to transform to face the truth to move but interestingly all of these are major arcana and really strong major arcana that all hang together really well what this tells me is this person this isn't really the intentions of this person in their mind this is the intentions of the soul of this person okay so this is more like higher self communication than it is lower self communication if you know what i mean this person is transforming this person is going to move forwards rapidly this person is going to have some sort of awakening enlightenment realization breakthrough success move to the next level this person is moving towards you it could be a twin flame situation a soul connection situation if it's not a romantic one, it, it's still positive. It's still a, an affirming, yes, their intentions are good, but it's more than that. It's not a superficial relationship situation, this. Their real intentions are to grow as a soul. Their real intentions are to wake up, to break through, to break out, to move beyond, to overcome external obstacles to overcome limiting factors to break free of their limiting situation and to have success to go to the next level to have an epiphany a realization let's look at the oracle cards <laughs> yeah opportunity forgiveness embrace your power yeah okay this is yeah their real intentions are to take the opportunity to move beyond to embrace their true power to break free of the old interesting that forgiveness comes up because forgiveness is kind of the heart of all or a big part of all spiritual awakening spiritual realization moving beyond the limiting ego it's a forgiveness of self forgiveness of others it's an opening the heart because often what closes us down is fear and so forgiving everybody ourselves forgiveness is the doorway isn't it to opening our hearts so this is someone going through a massive soul awakening and their intentions it's that this is not a communication from their personality selves unless they are an extremely awakened person this is a communication from a higher place either their higher self or from the universe itself which is saying that this person is being moved through a major awakening to take the opportunity to embrace their power and move beyond so their intentions are to move forward in this soul contract this soul agreement this soul connection so it's it's very very positive but it's much more significant bigger whatever you want to call it than just a, a romantic connection it's about moving forwards as a soul in terms of the life path and in terms of soul growth so I hope this makes sense. Wow, intense ending. Loads of love, guys. I hope you have an amazing day. I will see you on the next reading or a private reading in the meantime. Have an amazing day and I'll see you soon.